Pharmacy technician training helps prepare people for a job dispensing medications. Unlike many jobs in the medical profession that require four years or even eight years of college, some positions as pharmacy technician require two years or less. Most states require a certificate or even an associate's degree, but some states require less. The state of Arizona, for example, requires that applicants be at least 18 years of age, have a high school diploma or GED, complete a pharmacy technician training program approved by the Arizona State Board of Pharmacy and pass a national exam. In Arizona a pharmacy technician's license must be renewed every other year. Whether a state has stringent requirements or not, pharmacy technician education programs provide potential candidates with the training they will need to pass any examinations for licensing and, most certainly, will prepare them to do an excellent job. The exam for the Certification of Pharmacy Technicians provides an excellent site for the state-by-state -state comparison of requirements for pharmacy technicians. Some states do, indeed, require a two-year program, the equivalent of an associate's degree, whereas others only require a one-year certification program. Almost all training programs, whether officially accredited or on-the-job training through a licensed pharmacist, prepare the candidate by teaching him things like medical terminology and pharmaceutical calculations. Extras like customer service training and an education in the legalities and ethical considerations for the position are important too. Quite a lot of companies prefer the hands-on learning approach that a pharmacist can provide. It is, however, important to consider if the candidate is planning on continuing his education and ultimately his career because most institutions would not recognize training by a pharmacist to be on par with an accredited institution. So while helpful and practical, hands-on learning might limit the options of the candidate who wishes to use pharmacy technician as a springboard for other avenues later, as he may be required to repeat officially much of what he's learned already. The education one can receive in preparing for a career as a pharmacy technician can lead to other related fields, such as dental assistant and even optician. Many professions in this area all require the same basic classes at the beginning and thus classes taken to prepare for a license as a pharmacy technician will apply easily to careers related to the field. It's not necessary to attend an expensive private college to obtain such an education. Most community colleges offer comparable programs, usually at a fraction of the cost. Texas, for example, provides through the El Paso Community College a similar program for $1,428 a year. Clark College in the state of Washington has a program that costs about $3,174 a year. Another benefit of community colleges is that there is often federal grant money available to cover the cost of such programs. Beginning a career as a pharmacy technician is often a good idea and can pave the way to other health-related fields. Being able to start such a career with little more than a one-year certificate makes getting your foot in the door that much easier. Please visit us at pharmacytechniciansalarydata.com for more information on pharmacy technician salaries, the training needed to get started in this exciting career field, and much more.